and characteristics of the enzyme catalyst what are the characteristics that enzyme should have to act as a catalyst the first one is specificity enzymes are highly specific in nature that means the particular enzyme is used for the particular reaction only you can see here invertase is used for the hydrolysis of sucrose maltase is used for the hydrolysis of maltose and diastase is used for the hydrolysis of starch that means the specific enzymes are specific for the reactions these are very specific in nature so enzymes are specific in nature that means what particular enzyme is catalyzes the particular reaction only and another one is efficiency the enzymes are very efficient that means we have already mentioned in the presence of enzymes the rate of a reaction increases by 10 power 8 to 10 power 20 times so these enzymes are very efficient enzymes are highly efficient and these can be increase the rate of reaction by 10 power 8 to 10 power 20 times take a simple example in our digestive system in our digestive system to digest the one plate meals without any enzymes it take 50 years time but in the presence of all enzymes in our digestive system the plate meals will be digested within the 3 to 4 hours that means the rate of reaction has been increased in presence of enzymes approximately 10 power 8 to 10 power 20 times and uh, another one is temperature and ph conditions these catalysts the enzymes are act as a catalyst at the optimum temperature and ph levels this temperature should be 25 degrees to 35 degrees which is our body temperature and the ph is approximately at the 7 at this conditions this enzymes act as a catalyst effectively at the optimum temperature that is 25 degrees to 35 degrees and optimum ph that is approximately 7 optimum temperature and ph conditions and enzyme activators and enzyme inhibitors we already discussed that catalyst poisons poisonous catalyst and uh, promoters that means generally in the case of catalyst some of substance act as a poisonous that decreases the activity of catalyst some of them as a act as a promoter that means that increases the activity of the catalyst the same way here some activators some inhibitors also present for the enzymes also in presence of the activators the activity of enzyme is increases or in presence of inhibitors the activity of the enzymes will decreases that means in presence of activators the activity of or reactivity of enzyme will increase take a simple examples here is metal ions like cobalt cobalt plus 2 which is present in the cyanocobalamin that is vitamin b12 and manganese plus 2 and copper these are the few metal ions which increases the activity of the catalyst in so many reactions and in presence of inhibitors the activity of catalyst will decrease or enzyme activity of enzyme will decrease those are called inhibitors here the heavy metals like mercury or mercurous or silver these type of heavy metals act as a inhibitors for the enzymes so in presence of these inhibitors the activity of the catalyst will decreases now coming to the mechanism of the enzyme catalysis how enzymes performs the activity of catalysis in the mechanism these involved in the three steps the first one is the enzyme binding with the substrate and it forms a intermediate complex binding of the enzyme to the substrate here substrate indicated with s yes, and enzyme is indicated with e to form a intermediate complex here this enzyme which is represented with e and substrate gets reacted with each other and it forms a intermediate complex es and uh, next step is the product is formed from the intermediate complex formation of product from intermediate complex es that means this es can forms the corresponding product complex 
and finally this product complex gets divided into enzyme and product that means the third one is release the product from the enzyme product complex here this is enzyme product complex so from this enzyme product complex is formed from the enzyme substrate complex by undergoing some conformational changes so this enzyme product complex finally releases the enzyme and product separately so that this catalyst again reused in the reaction these three steps are involved in the general mechanism of the enzymes so in enzymes the sites are presented in order to adsorb the reactant molecule these are called active sites or catalytic sites that means the number of cavities or surfaces present on the surface of enzyme or molecule is called active sites or catalytic sites so you can show this catalytic site in this picture here this is the enzyme which is act as a catalyst for the specific reaction this uh, arrangement or the conformation for the given enzyme is called active site the substrate which is come from the outside is uh, gets adsorbed or attracted towards the active sites this is called active site and it is enzyme which is used as a catalyst now coming to the mechanism of the reaction here is this is the enzyme initially present and this is the substrate this is substrate and this substrate gets adsorbed on the active site in order to get the products after conformational change this substrate gets dissociated into the products and the enzyme is as it is so that you have to use this uh, enzyme for the another reaction in this case we can see this reaction this is the enzyme and this is the es that is called enzyme substrate complex it is enzyme substrate complex initially it has been formed with the substrate and enzyme after some time it is rearranged and it forms the corresponding enzyme product complex it is called enzyme product complex this is enzyme product complex that means here rearrangement takes place of the substrate by here you can see the cleavage of the substrate and uh, it can move from the active sites of the enzyme like this and it can form the final products